All right, hello everyone. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing great. Um, today we're in this area called San Rio Cho. I don't know if that's what it's called, but it's at the San Rio Cho station. And um, I've come here to accompany my girlfriend for a health check for her company, which they do, which most companies in Japan do. Actually, all companies do in Japan. And um, she's just about to be finished. And I wanted to go check out this store. It's an electronic store. I've been to a couple of labbies before, the one in Kobe, one in Osaka. I just want to check this one out. Um, it's not called Labia. I keep calling this store Labia, but it's not Labia. So I just came from here and I got to meet up with my girlfriend now, but we're going to go right now. All right, so here it is. We're going in. This, um, this exterior looks pretty cool. Oh, they even have a like, Ikenari steak inside. All right, they have like their own brand of um, where you can buy their their home uh, equipment, like the uh, bathrooms and the furnishing and the kitchen, which is pretty nice. Most electronic stores will have this. They have like a full out kitchen that you can just order, which you can just probably just bring this and install into your house. more uh, sinks and classical music which I really like I got a full out um, which one this was nice all right so this whole floor is actually just interior with furnishings and furnitures Pretty crazy. I didn't know they, this place sells furniture. Oh, I like this table. It's 500 bucks, which is not that bad. Don't you like this table? You want to talk about the um, your health services? How was it? Was it good? She said that the um, so basically what what happens is um, you go into this place and then like each section has like an area where they do one thing so they'll one place they'll do like stomach checks one place they'll do like eye tests and it's kind of like a, in a line where everybody kind of walks through it but she said the service is really good and the service in japan is the best right yeah all right so you can get like a whole slab of wood this is a thousand bucks two thousand bucks but this one's pretty nice this one's only a thousand dollars no five hundred bucks all right, this door is really big, but um, she want my girlfriend wanted to continue what she was saying. So the service, what? The service is really nice. Uh -huh. They have a they have a lady just follow you and do like a guide for you. Uh huh. Just tell you, okay, we should do this. Uh huh. Then, uh, next after finish, she just tell you what to do. Okay. So you don't feel really like wondering, oh, where I am, or what should I do next, because they always will have people like tell you what to do. Alright, here's all the uh, washing machines and the uh, refrigerators. There's so many workers here. There's more workers than people shopping. So we got the nice refrigerators over here. They got this uh, one with the TV. I don't know if this is just advertisement or if this is the... Oh, this is just a screen. Oops. This, this is for like... Um, like like special freezers for like the uh, the garage or something. It's not like a normal refrigerator. This one is um, 200 bucks. Yeah, usually refrigerators are really expensive like this one. This one is a thousand bucks. It's, I mean like for a thousand bucks in America, you can probably get a really nice refrigerator. And Panasonic kind of sucks. I think, I think this is $400 off. This is also $1,000. You got a medium, like a, a vegetable area where you can put your vegetables and then the freezers are really small on the bottoms here yeah, these are all a thousand dollars a little bit overpriced this goes um you can go opposite ways so you can open it from both sides oh. all right so i think this is like the highest end refrigerators these are like two thousand bucks they have you know they just feel so cheap though we got the regular fridge here. This one is two thousand dollars. About they got the regular vegetable area, and then they got like these mini compartments for water. 
but I just don't it, they just feel really light and cheap just doesn't feel like it's two thousand dollars worth this one, is better. this one has like the wood grain which is nice but this one, I believe this one's also two thousand and the freezer is on this side this side or this side I don't know oh, but Got some uh, ice shavers here. Shave ice, and then they got like this crazy soba noodle where it goes down. This one's 50 bucks. It's kind of unnecessary. They have some like water bottle ionizer thing. Here are the uh, massage chairs. Usually they're filled with people, but it's Monday, so maybe that's why nobody's here. This place also has a cafe. What are the basement floor? Look at how long this basement is. So long. Or deep. Oh, it's like the other um Laby Laby store, which the other one too had like a pharmacy on the basement floor as well, which is really interesting. Let's see how big this place is. Looks good. It's probably gonna be really huge. It is. Whoa. Got some snacks and candies here. Whoa, they got Mentos. Do like a quick tour. Doesn't look that interesting, but you see how high these ceilings are? It's pretty deep, and then they have all these um, phone services over here as well. Got some snacks and food. And they got the, uh, the new uh, Apple products here as well. So they do have some electronics down here. So it seems like they have a bunch of um, electronics down here. Computers, laptops. But you know the cool part about this store is they have like a cool toy section. But um, wow, I can't believe how big it is down here. Oh, they got like this uh, cannon shop here. Well, camera shop, I guess. I guess even for Monday, there's a lot of people here. Got some watches. For your printer. This place has endless amount of things here. Like, whatever you can think of, they have it. But the thing is, you can get all this stuff on Amazon for a lot less. I don't know. I don't know how these people will stay in business. It's all DVDRs. I think got some monitors back here. I think they got some computers back here as well. Keyboards, mouse. Look at all these backpacks or camera camera gear I think you put your camera stuff inside of these these bags camera bags they even have like those um, refrigerators for your lens so it doesn't like uh, get rusty or moldy yeah, it looks like some lights over there some uh, more electronics oh let's check some of these speakers out oh it's they're not speakers they're uh, kettlebells like you can buy this stuff online for cheaper I guess this is maybe like just one brand of things and then they got some uh, scales I also bought my scale on uh, Amazon as well all right that's that floor was actually the first floor and then now this is the third floor I guess this is all the TVs whoa they got a lot of TVs here This place is so big, it's ridiculous. Alright, let's see if there's any nice TVs that we can find here. Uh, we got a bunch of these TVs are like a thousand bucks. This one doesn't even have a name. This is like Funai. I don't know if that's Chinese or 
it's a Japanese brand it's a thousand dollars this is a 55 inch TV which is not bad these are all 55 inches this one's $800 for a 55 inch as well so this one's pretty not this one also is 500 bucks for a 55 inch but these are all 55 inches but they all are a little bit oh no it's 55 V which is which is not the inches actually I don't know how many inches this is it looks like it's 50 ah, it looks like a 40 inch actually oh it is 55 yeah but it looks smaller I think they're different in quality because this one's 33 three, 3330 that one is 5030 so but some of these TVs are really clear I probably wouldn't buy that Funai one because I don't know what Funai is but this one is 800 bucks 55 inches Panasonic that one is not too bad they have a lot of this Funai brand which is oh this one is Toshiba but the whole aisle was all Funai oh there's some LG TVs here 2000 bucks for this you don't see too many LG TVs they're always like Japanese ones Toshiba, Sony, Sharp but they have a really good selection here except they're all like a thousand dollars and up and they also sell couches with alongside with the TVs which is kind of convenient you can get a whole setup if you have nothing in your in your um, in your house or apartment A lot of these electronic stores will have like a kids area like this. I remember at the other, um, the other Labby store, they had this too. See, they sell like kids toys here, and then they can come and play on. Uh, oh, they even have claw machine games on the other side. But yeah, they have like a whole area where kids can come and play, which is pretty crazy. There's not many kids here. There's only like one kid in here, two. So this whole section is the toy area. We'll go look around some more at this area. All right, we'll start from the back, but look at this place. It's a little bit ridiculous. A lot of these um, electronic stores will have like these kids play areas. So they can spend all day here. They got some video games in the back. Nobody's here. It's, I mean, it is Monday. All right, so they got some Gundam. These huge electronic stores usually have a lot of Gundam, Gundam models and figures. And some uh, paint and all the tools that you need. They got a whole bunch of um, car models and airplanes. You got your uh, regular toys here. Uno. Kids love Uno here. Oh, we got some Nerf toys here. Yeah, I feel like these electronic stores have better toys than the uh, Toys R Us. I've been to a couple of Toys R Us in Japan and they're, they kind of lack a lot of toys for a toy store. But this place is like, they just have so many toys here. Just like aisles and aisles of toys. This is all toys, this whole floor. Ah, jigsaws, there you go. Here's some more jigsaws here. Minions, they never have really good ones. You can even buy like a frame to put your jigsaw in. I don't know how much this frame is frame itself is like 20 bucks around there cool they got a akira full bike and they got some uh, more jigsaw puzzles here disney let's see how much these are got a mickey mouse one here this one's nice 300 pieces or just like 10 bucks not bad 
Yeah, if you're looking for jigsaw puzzles, they have them at um, electronic stores. They have some up here too. They got the minions here and peanut peanuts. Can't really see them. Got like Aladdin toys in front or something. They're not Aladdin toys. I don't know what kind of toys these are. I thought they were Aladdin. Yeah, so they got a whole bunch of stuff here. They got a thousand pieces. This one looks nice. Get one of Mount Fuji. It's heavy. This one's about 20 bucks. So about like 50 bucks you can get like a nice frame and puzzle. Here's some uh, Tamaka tours. If you like Tamaka, I do. There haven't been any kind of new ones that I've I've seen. They all pretty much are like the same. This one's pretty cool. Oh, and they got some train toys as well. Got some uh, Ultraman and some little girls toys. Got some beads. Oh, these are cool. They got some Godzilla toys. This one's 60 bucks. And Kong is 60 bucks. They got Doraemon and some, uh, some Gundam and Sailor Moon. Got this whole little section here. Oh, they got Hot Wheels. And Pac-Man. I've been wanting to collect some cool Hot Wheels toys. I might buy one. I'm more into the Tamaka stuff. Hooker headers. But I might, I might buy one just because. All right, here's more um, girl stuff. They got some uh, Lego things. Got this uh, Super Mario here. Which is pretty cool. This one's only like 30 bucks. Well, it's kind of expensive. Some more Lego stuff here. I didn't buy the Hot Wheels too. I don't feel kind of lazy waiting in line and buying something. This looks pretty cool. It's a Ferrari. I think this is like probably 30 bucks. It's about 30 bucks. Got this GTR here. You get Harry Potter. This one is um, 200? Yeah, 200 bucks, this whole thing. Got some uh, Minecraft things. Like girls' Legos. Friends. This one's about 100 bucks. They're frozen. These are pretty cool. These are like a hundred bucks as well. You get a whole city. This is awesome. I wish we had these when I was a little kid. You get this whole whole boat here. And a helicopter. This one's really cool. This one's about a hundred bucks, which is not too bad. Now, I think this one's a hundred bucks as well, which are really cool. Yeah, I only had like those old school Legos where it's just like blocks where you can't make anything. You gotta use your imagination. So they got some like samurai sword. Maybe it's just like a replica. I don't think it really cuts anything. This thing is 70 bucks. Oh, look at this old Sega Genesis. 60 bucks. I had the, the real big one. The real one. Get some VR toys. Switch. finish this round here just more toys more kids Ampamam Ampamam man yeah just more like baby toys we'll, we'll check upstairs I think this is pretty much it this is probably as good as it's gonna get oh cool they got like Pringles all right we'll check out this this little area here Maybe we'll play some games. You know we gotta. 
like the baddest Maru. Got some candy. All right, what should we get here? There's so many things. Whoa, they really got a lot of stuff here. Is there something you like? Not like I can win it, but might as well ask. And they got a bunch of gotcha stuff here. Is this 200 yen? Oh, this is a gacha. It's not the like... No, a yeah, it's thing. not a game. Oh, it's kind of a game. All right, so that was it. It was only three fo floors, but they were really big floors. There's like a smoking area here. And... Um, Maybe this could be the best part of the place. It's pretty pretty cool because it was an electronic store on the first floor and then they got a bunch of restaurants here. This is a Korean restaurant. Whoa. It's pretty cool. They got some Korean food here. Uh, let's walk around. They got a Shizeria. That's my Yakiniku place here. It's pretty expensive. Oh, I think that's it. I'm gonna go around this way. Do you wanna eat here? Oh, they got hot pots? Oh, all the way in the back they have hot pots. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's look around here. It's pretty, um, pretty... It's, it's a large space, but... It seems like, oh, it smells like Korean food. Oh, look at this. They got a lot of um, stuff here. It's probably pricey. Oh, they got those cold noodles for a thousand. That looks pretty good. Oh, they got the soup, the oxtail soup. Let's just eat here. You want to? Yeah. Alright, we might eat here. We might eat here. They got an Indian restaurant. I think anything. It's a Korean restaurant. Oh, they got the Ikanari steak here. It's pretty big. They got uh, Frank, Frank Sinatra singing in the back. So this place is like the, uh, oh, the fondue place. We got the green tea fondue. I mean, they have fruit there too. All right, I think that's pretty much it. This restaurant has like a little kitty area. Yeah, there's not much food here. I mean, they got all this stuff right here. But I can't find these places. They're just all randomly everywhere. I don't know what this place is. Uh, everything's all spread apart. I think that's why. I think this is Chinese. Oh, this place looks really good too. It looks pretty um, authentic. Whoa. Yeah, Japanese style? Oh, sorry. Uh, like the the bento style, I see. But look at the place, it's really nice. Oh, I mean, there's more restaurants that way. It's, yeah, it's, but each restaurant has a lot of space. It's Kobe, another Kobe restaurant. No, it's just one Kobe restaurant, but they got a lot of things here. Omrice, spaghetti, pasta. Whoa, what bread? is that? Some sort of bread. Does it come with a cup? Nobody's in here. Probably because it's, uh, it's a Monday. Oh, they got steak here. Because it's lunchtime too, so it might be cheaper. I was just looking at the name. It's called Kolaba. But Kolabi, Kolaba means choose whichever, which is pretty interesting, which is pretty funny. We might eat here. We're not sure yet. Alright, so they uh, they close at 3 and open back at 5, so no can do. Alright, so we ended up leaving because we're going to eat at that Korean restaurant, but they close at, um, they close at 3 o'clock and reopen at 5, and a lot of the restaurants there closes for lunch just so the staff can take a break and um, 
take a rest, I guess. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed coming with me along to this electronic store. Um, it was okay. I thought it was kind of lacking a lot of things, but it was really big. Each floor had a lot of things. Um, we're going to eat somewhere, I think, so that probably will be in the next video. But um, yeah, thank you for watching and um, look out for future videos and goodbye.